What's up sports fans? This is the Lucas Ross Sports Channel. It is time to give you my game picks and predictions as we head into week number four of the 2024 college football season. Before I get into these predictions here for week number four, going back to last week's predictions, I got eight out of the ten games right and then two out of the ten games wrong. So my overall record last week in a quiet week of college football was eight and two. So yeah, that's been my best week so far. My overall record so far throughout the college football season is 19 and 11. So yeah, that's my first that's my overall record, you know, throughout the first 3 weeks of the college football season. Now we're heading into week 4. We got a bunch of bigger games coming up this weekend. Uh, compared to last weekend, we got more top 25 matchups as well. So I picked out 10 of the biggest games, 10 of the biggest games in my opinion for this week, and I'm going to give you score predictions even though score predictions don't really matter. What really matters is we're picking the team to win. So let's go ahead and get right into these predictions here as we head into week number four the 2024 college football season and we will start here with a friday night game coming up tomorrow night this game will be at eight o'clock eastern time it's illinois versus nebraska this game will be on fox nebraska favored by seven and a half points and the over and under is at 42 and a half uh, you look at Illinois, they've been a pr pretty big surprise team this year so far, uh, they, even though they have not been really tested yet. You know, they've been tested a couple weeks ago against Kansas, but the Jayhawks don't look like a really good team now. So this might be the first kind of real test for Illinois. They're ranked in the bottom of the part of the top 25. So is Nebraska. Uh, Nebraska was tested a couple weeks ago against Colorado. Uh, Colorado might be still a pretty good team. So Nebraska, though, has not been really tested yet. But this is also the first official conference game here for both of these teams. I like what Nebraska has done this year. You know, I think they've looked really good as a team so far. Uh, the future is looking pretty bright with their, uh, you know, freshman quarterback and Nate Raiola. I guess that's how you pronounce his name. But, yeah, Nebraska has been a, you know, terrific team so far. Illinois overall has just been a very big surprise team. I kind of been back and forth on this game. You know, in the preseason, I did pick Nebraska to win this one. I don't think I predicted it to be a close game, though, because I feel like Illinois is going to be pretty bad this year. But now, like, I look back at my prediction here. I feel like this game is going to be a lot more closer than I did not expect. But I'm still going to go with my preseason pick here. I'm going to go with the Corn Huskers here. I do trust Nebraska a little bit more. Uh, you know, I trust Matt Rule a little bit more, and I also trust the Nebraska coaching staff. I don't really trust Illinois' coaching staff and, you know, these types of, you know, road games. And also, I think Nebraska definitely overall is just a better team here. And they've looked kind of better than Illinois in the first three weeks. Illinois' offense hasn't been able to get things going. Uh, the defense, though, has been the strength of that Illinois team. But Nebraska's offense has been pretty good. But I think it's a low-scoring type game. But I'm going to go with Nebraska here to win this one by 7 points, 20-13. to 13. That is my final score prediction here for Illinois versus Nebraska in a Big Ten football showdown. Next up, we got NC State versus Clemson, an ACC conference game. This game will be at noon Eastern time on Saturday on ABC. Clemson favored by 20.5 points. And the over and under is at 46.5 Clemson coming out of a bye week, of course, from last week. A couple weeks ago, they did a you know did a pretty good job on the offensive side of the football against App State, a pretty good team out of the Sun Belt at that Group of Five level. NC State, on the other hand, they're sitting there at two and one. It's been a pretty up and down season so far for the Wolfpack uh, against Western Carolina. They weren't really good on the defensive side of the football. Tennessee, they got blown out in that game a couple weeks ago. And also, they kind of struggled against a cupcake team from last week. So, yeah, it's been an overall up-and-down season here for NC State. Uh, Clemson here, I think they're the better team here. Uh, that's a pretty big spread there by 20 and a half points, and I kind of agree with that spread. I don't really expect a close game here. I think Clemson overall is the better team. Plus, coming out of a bye week and playing at home, it's a very tough place to play here in Death Valley. I don't really expect a close game here whatsoever. So I think Clemson wins this one pretty big. I'm going to go 38-17. to Again, score prediction doesn't really matter for me. Again, I'm just choosing the team that I think is going to win. So again, I'm going to go with Clemson here, 38-17 to here in their first official conference game against NC State. Again, this game will be at noon Eastern time here on ABC. And again, Clemson favored by 20 and a half points. Again, a pretty big spread there for an ACC conference game. Next up, we got USC versus Michigan, 3.30 Eastern time on CBS. USC favored by five points, and the over and under is at 44 and a half. 
So this is the first official Big Ten conference game here for the Trojans. They're also coming out of a bye week from last week. You know, USC sitting there at 2-0. and They got the big win over LSU in week number one. And then a couple weeks ago, they defeated Utah State, kept them scoreless in that game. They won 48-0. You look at Michigan on the other side, coming off that loss to Texas a couple weeks ago. Their defense really struggled in that game. And the offense just hasn't been able to get things going here. The quarterback position has been the main struggle here for the Wolverines. Uh, they have to really get that offense going in this game. Now, I think the key here for this game for Michigan, I think they're going to have to slow the game down. They're going to have to run the football in this game with their tailbacks in order to kind of wear down that USC defense and keep that USC offense off the field for as long as possible. But I tell you what, based off of the first three weeks, I know USC has not played three games yet, but... USC has been really impressing me. You know, I've been really impressed with their offense, not just their offense, but overall their defense as well, especially that big-time win over LSU in week number one. Uh, Miller Moss has played pretty well so far as well. So I like this USC team. Uh, you know, even though it's on the road here at Ann Arbor and also in the preseason, I did pick Michigan here to win this game. But again, just based off of the first three weeks, I think USC has been a more impressive team than Michigan has. So with that being said, it is a close low scoring type game but I like USC here in this one I'm going to go USC 28 to 24 again it's a low scoring type game I don't think Michigan probably can score 24 points again that offense just hasn't been able to get things going and overall the USC defense looks a lot better compared to the last couple years so again I'm going to go USC here to win this one 28 to 24 and not just a win here it's also probably could be their first official win as a Big Ten football team so USC here in Michigan at at 3.30 Eastern Time on CBS. Next up, we got UCLA versus LSU, 3.30 Eastern Time on ABC. LSU favored by 24 points in this one, and the over and under is at 56 and a half. LSU coming off that close win against South Carolina, game-winning, uh, you know, or actually like a game-winning touchdown, not a game-winning field goal. South Carolina had a chance to tie it up and force overtime, but LSU comes back from behind and wins that game. They're back here in Death Valley where they, you, you know, need to be and everything to kind of regain some confidence. Now, UCLA, on the other hand, UCLA coming off a very bad loss to Indiana last week. I don't think this UCLA team is going to be really good, even though they've only played two games to start out the year. And they got a new coach. Deshaun Foster is a new coach. They're kind of, you know, just trying to get used to him and this new coaching staff here for the Bruins. They still got some playmakers on this roster, but definitely not the playmakers that you go up against this LSU team. I think LSU wins this one, you know, fairly easily. I don't think it's really going to be a close game. I think it's kind of similar to the Clemson and, you know, NC State game. LSU is just overall the better team, plus they're playing at home in Death Valley. I think they win this one 35-10. I think it's a blowout here. UCLA loses big in this one. And I think after a loss to Indiana, they're all pretty much beat up. The defense is probably beat up after giving up over 40 points in that game from last week. So I got LSU getting the win here 35-10. to Again, this game will be on Saturday at 3.30 Eastern time. A Big Ten versus SEC showdown. This actually will be the second time that LSU goes up against a Big Ten football team uh, since the USC game, you know, in week number one. So LSU wins this one again 35-10. to Next up, we got Louisville versus Georgia Tech, 3.30 Eastern time on ESPN2. The Cardinals are favored by 10, and the over and under is at 57 and a half. Uh, Louisville is also coming out of a bye week. They're ranked number 19 in the AP poll. Uh, this will kind of be their first real test as like a top 25 team. Uh, Georgia Tech is not a bad team. Georgia Tech, of course, beat Florida State in week number zero. Uh, they, you know, they started off like 2-0 and on the season. They lost to Syracuse a couple weeks ago, but they did bounce back. I think Georgia Tech's game plan is definitely going to try to run the football and slow the game down. Louisville's going to try to score a lot of points in this game. I don't really expect a lot of points, you know, ever since what Louisville did, you know, in the first couple of games. They're coming out of a bye week, though. This is a very tough one to call. i kind of been back and forth on this game. I know Georgia Tech is going to be that underdog team. They're going to be a 10-point underdog and try to prove people wrong, but I'm going to go with Louisville here. I, I like Louisville here in this one. I'm going to go with 31-24. I don't feel confident with this prediction. Again, I think Georgia Tech does have a chance to pull off the upset here, but 
I'm actually going to go with the Cardinals here, 31 to 24. It's a close game, but I'm going to go with the Cardinals here just because of the home foot advantage. Now, a turnover can probably change the difference. Uh, this was a close game last year in Atlanta. Uh, remember, the game was in Atlanta, of course, last year. This year, it's back at you know Louisville Stadium. So yeah, Louisville definitely will have the home field advantage and also the home crowd behind them. So yeah, I'm going to go with Louisville here in a close one, 31 to 24, in a really close game. So again, we got Louisville and Georgia. Tech here at 3.30 Eastern Time on Saturday. Next up, we got Arkansas versus Auburn. 3.30 Eastern Time on ESPN. Auburn's favored by three points, also known by a field goal, and the over and under is at 56 and a half. Uh, both of these teams are pretty similar. You know, Arkansas lost to Oklahoma State a couple weeks ago. Auburn coming off that disappointing loss, you know, to a cupcake opponent. Or I should say to Cal. I should say they lost to California. Uh, that was the team they lost to a couple weeks ago uh, out of the ACC and everything, even though they were the better team than Cal. But either way, this should be a pretty good one. This overall should be a pretty big shootout. Uh, you got Arkansas with the Bobby Petrino offensive team. You got Hugh Freeze with his offensive background. This is a tough one to call. I've been back and forth on this game. So with that being said, I think home field advantage might be the difference here. I think Auburn wins a close one, and they cover that spread by a field goal. It could be a game-winning field goal. You never know. But I'm going to go with Auburn here, 37-34. to 34. And again, I think both of these teams are pretty even in roster-wise and then offensively, you know, pretty much in the offensive system. I think Arkansas, you know, might be the better offensive team, but, you know, both of these teams are pretty similar. So Auburn and Arkansas. 37 to 34 is my final score prediction here for this game. And again, this game will be at 3:30 Eastern Time on ESPN. Next up, we got Utah versus Oklahoma State, the biggest Big 12 football game in a long time in the history of the conference. This game will be at 4 o'clock Eastern Time on Fox. Utah favored by two points in this one, and the over and under is at 54 and a half. Both of these teams ranked in the top 15. They're both undefeated at 3-0. This game probably decides who is the front runner to win the Big 12 this year and probably get to the Big 12 championship. It looks like Cam Rising is going to, you know, going to be playing in this game. So that's the really the good news there. If you're a Utah fan, uh, you know, like I said in my upset alert video, if Cam Rising wasn't able to play in this game, I probably would go with Oklahoma State here to win by double digits. But now with him playing, I think it could be a lot of a closer game here. But again, home foot advantage might be the difference. This is a very tough game to call. And plus, I do like Oklahoma State's offense a little bit more than Utah's. Uh, you got two veteran quarterbacks here going at it as well. You got Cam Rising of Utah, we just talked about. And then you got Alan Bowman, who's coming off a really good performance from this past weekend. And then you got a good running back in Ollie Gordon, the third. I think Ollie Gordon has a big game here. I think this is where, you know, the game where he kind of finds out that he's a Heisman candidate. So I'm going to go with Oklahoma State here in a. Close game, 34-27. to 27. I think Oklahoma State uh, upsets Utah here because Utah is favored in this one, and they also win by more than two points as well in that spread. So, again, I think this is the biggest Big 12 football game that we've had in a while since in this conference. Again, Utah joining the Big 12 this year makes it a really interesting game. So, again, Oklahoma State and Utah here. I got Oklahoma State winning this one, 34-27. to 27. Next up, we got Tennessee versus Oklahoma. Top 15 showdown here in the SEC. This game will be at 7.30 Eastern time on ABC. Tennessee favored by 7 points. And the over and under is at 57.5. Uh, both of these teams are also undefeated coming in at 3-0. Uh, college game day, of course, is going to be down here for this one. Of course, when it comes to college game day, you have to really assume this is probably the game of the weekend. Even though Oklahoma State and Utah might be a little bit bigger. But you look at this Tennessee team, uh, they haven't been really tested yet. Yes, they played NC State a couple weeks ago. I just talked about that. But they beat NC State fairly easily in a blowout like 51-10. to 10. Tennessee in their first three games, they have scored like 60-plus, and then, of course, 51 in the second game, and then last weekend, of course, uh, you know, scoring 71 against Kent State, a really bad Kent State team, probably one of the worst teams in the country right now. Yeah, Tennessee hasn't been really tested yet, especially on the offensive side of the football. I think this will be a real test for them. Oklahoma's got a pretty good defense. The offense hasn't looked great for Oklahoma in the last couple weeks, uh, even though they had a really good offensive performance against a really bad Temple team in that first game. Uh, Oklahoma is going to have to slow the game down. Just like Michigan and USC, Oklahoma is going to have to slow the game down. They're going to have to run the football, and Jackson Arnold's got to really get the ball out of his hands on time. 
Because this Tennessee defense, I tell you what, they're going to really pressure Jackson Arnold in this game. Uh, they come at you really fast, and they're also going to go fast on the offensive side of the football. This game can go two different ways. Like I said yesterday, it can go two different ways. Uh, it could be a shootout. It could be a low-scoring type game. And when it comes to a shootout, I feel like Tennessee would definitely win it. And then when it comes to a low-scoring type game, I feel like Oklahoma would win that. Now, in the preseason, I did pick Oklahoma to win this game, but, you know, based off of the first three weeks of the season, I'm going to go actually go with Tennessee here. I'm changing my pick here from the preseason. It is a shootout, so I do trust Tennessee to win this one, and again, I do trust that Tennessee offense to do their job as well and wear down that Oklahoma defense. I don't really feel confident with this prediction, but I feel like Oklahoma will have a chance to pull off the upset, but I'm going to go with Tennessee here. Again, my final score prediction is a shootout here, 38-34. to and then finally, or I should say, next up we got Michigan State versus Boston College. 8 o'clock Eastern time on the ACC Network, Boston College. Favored by 6.5, and, and the over and under is at 45.5. You look at Michigan State, they haven't been really tested yet either. They have a win over Maryland a couple weeks ago. I mean, that's been their only real test, and they have a Big Ten football conference win already. But this will be a really tough road test. Boston College has been a pretty solid team so far. They beat Florida State in week number one on that Labor Day game. They ran the football down their throats. And they're coming off a really close loss to Missouri, a pretty talented Missouri team from last week. So I think Boston College is going to come out angry in this one. After the loss to Missouri, they come out really fired up. Uh, Michigan State's an undefeated team. Team. I think we'll, f we'll find out how good this Michigan State team is. If they beat Boston College, which I really wouldn't be shocked about, if they beat them, I think Michigan State could be a very solid team and also a very surprise team as well. But I think Boston College playing at home gets it done here. It's a close game. I'm going to go with Boston College, though, 24-20. to And then finally, we got a Big 12 game, Kansas State versus BYU, 10.30 Eastern time on ESPN. Kansas State favored by six and a half, and the over and under is at 48 and a half. You look at the Wildcats, of course, from last week, dominated Arizona 31 to 7. So they're coming into this game with good momentum after their first couple games, or I should say their first three games. Uh, they had a really close game against Tulane a couple weeks ago, but they did bounce back, had a really nicer game against Arizona than the Tulane game. But you look at BYU, we're going to find out how good this BYU team is against really tougher competition. Now, a couple weeks ago, they did a you know pretty nice job against SMU. Uh, their defense has been pretty impressive so far, and overall they've been a pretty surprise team as well. I didn't really have any high expectations for BYU in the preseason, but I think they have a real shot here to pull off the upset, but I don't think it will be enough. I think Kansas State overall is the better team, and they're definitely the more well-coached team as well, and they're definitely the overall better talented team as well. So I'm going to go with Kansas State here. Again, it's a close game, 27-24. to Again, I would not be shocked here if BYU actually pulled off the upset, but I'm going to go with the Wildcats here to survive a upset alert type game. So I'm going to go with Kansas State here, 27-24. to So that is my game picks and predictions heading into week number four of the 2024 college football season and for these 10 games give me your predictions down in the comments below for all these uh, 10 games and also who do you see getting upset here in week number four of the college football season as well thanks for watching this video and stay tuned here for more sports content videos on my lucas ross sports youtube channel